Hi everybody, my name is Juno Prudhomme with Denison Yachting based here in Miami, Florida. I wanted to share with you guys a great deal that's on the market, especially if you're coming to the 2022 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, and that's a 2007 Azimut 85 flybridge called Blue. She's located here in Sunny Isles, Florida, which is about 20 minutes away from the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. She's powered with Cat C32 A certs, has 1400 hours. She's an amazing deal on the market. You'll be very impressed when you definitely see her in person. Some of her key features are she's been full-time crew the entire time. They stay at the house and they keep the boat in phenomenal condition. She's the only one with the hydraulic teak swim platform. The bow setup is more of the newer style. We have the sun pad, the table, you can walk through it. So that's an ideal setup. Hot tub on the flybridge, very big. Interior is in great shape. No milkiness in the cabin tree. And I think you'll be really impressed uh, with this boat. And a big thing is she was painted in 2018. So when you see her in person, she looks and shines like a new boat and she's just been very well maintained. And I think it's something you truly have to come see in person. So let's jump on this video and come see Blue. So this is Blue, the 2007 Asthma 85. Uh, as you can see in the photo, just a beautiful boat, stands extremely tall. Exterior paint looks phenomenal, especially when you see her in person, you're really surprised how meticulous and nice this boat looks for a 2007. What I like that Azimut did, it's, it's especially ahead of their time, is how they set up the bow because that's more of the newer style that you're gonna find on the newer boats. And people and guests love to migrate to the front of the boat, especially when it's set up like that. It makes it very functional where you have the sun pad, you have dining table, you have a U-shaped seating. So you definitely utilize the space as on these later motor yachts, sometimes it's just a circle sun pad there. They didn't really, it's not really functional and it doesn't make it fun. And with this particular boat, it does. Um, you can see the big platform there for your toys. Uh, we utilize it with our tender or you can use it with the jet ski. On the flybridge, you can put two jet skis up there if you'd like. Sometimes we even put our Vespa scooters, we'll put four to six, just depending on where, where, where my client decides to go. You have the hot tub, and I love that you have just tons of space back here for toys. If you want to put a slide or paddle boards or whatever the case may be, it's very functional of just using it a lot as storage. Big hot tub, easily for four to six people, just depending on your size, um, which makes it very nice. The flybridge, tons of space, uh, easily can entertain 15 to 20 people here. You have a lot of seating the way it's set up. You have a sump pad forward and another sump pad aft. Uh, the space on here is just super ideal. You don't feel crammed. It's a lot of space. You have the outside galley to set up for snacks, drinks, whatever the occasion may be. You also have an electric grill. You have the retractable top. So on those beautiful days, you can just open it up, let that amazing weather come in, wind come in. Uh, just the flybridge on here is just amazing. I'm, I'm truly impressed. Uh, compared to the other models on the market. Uh, we did upgrade some of the electronics uh, up here. We, we put a newer Simrad, you have your cat engine displays, uh, ADT hydraulic bow and stern thrusters. Uh, she does have ADT track uh, fins uh, on board to keep you nice and stable. You know, if that's a big key feature for you, um, she's definitely equipped with that as well. In the cockpit, as you can see, what I like to discuss is a Teak still in great shape. Uh, has a lot of shelf life left. The teak table is in phenomenal condition. Uh, so is the exterior upholstery. You have the hard top that keeps you nice and covered. So you have a nice size cockpit, especially if you're a person who really loves alfresco dining and want to be outside. Uh, the cockpit's a great place to enjoy uh, just dining, hanging out, and, a, and another great social gathering area. Here in the salon, I mean, just take a look at it. the cabinetry, the carpet. You can remove the sofas if that's not to your taste, but for 2007, you can just see how clean it is. Headliners are all in great shape. So the space in here is very in inviting, very homey, very comfortable. You don't feel cram uh, and it's laid out very well, especially if you're a bigger family or maybe you decide you wanna get into the term charter or the charter game in itself. You know, it, it, it does have that space and it is set up uh, perfectly. You have a flat screen TV that drops up and down if you want to put it away or have it uh, there for sports. But again, love the big windows, just bringing a lot of natural light. You feel comfortable, you feel homey. It's just a nice uh, salon area. Here you have dining for eight, you can make it for six as well, um, which is another nice place to be. Here in the galley, you have all the appliances that you need, Sub-Zero fridge and freezer. 
you have your oven, you have your stainless steel sinks, your stove, microwave. And what I like uh, about this galley, it's very inviting, very spacious, especially if you want a chef on board. You can close everything up, it has a door, and it has these partitions that keeps it nice and private for your chef. So it's not, you can't see all the mess that's going on because as you know, the kitchen, which we call the galley, can get very busy and having these uh, partition keeps it nice and private. Here's a settee area here uh, by the lower helm station. So this is just another little dining nook, somewhere you can hang out with the captain, discuss what's going on, have breakfast, uh, go over charts, kind of go over your plans here uh, in this particular area. Here at the lower helm station, Again, the electronics are gonna be redundant, but we did put two more new SIMRADs up here. So it's gonna be redundant to what you saw up on the flybridge. And we also do have a yacht controller in the crew, AKA mainly the captain loves to use the yacht controller from the exterior of the boat, just getting a great visibility, can hear and see everything uh, from out there. I would say most of the time when he does drive the boat inside, it's only for inclement weather or if there's a big party going outside and the owner's entertaining, then he'll decide to come back inside. Here's our guest staterooms. Uh, your port and starboard guest staterooms are going to be identical with side-by-side -side berths, and they all, we also have Pullmans as well, so you can have up to six, three in one room, three in the, in the other, especially if you have younger kids or teenagers. You know, this is definitely a great setup. If you wanted to convert it to one of the rooms, maybe put a queen in there or a full, you can, but this is how Blue is set up currently. Each stateroom is all ensuite. Um, which is a big bonus and all the rooms I would say are very spacious uh, You can see the carpet the cabinetry headliners. Everything's pretty much in great shape flat screen TV speakers inside So just overall uh, the staterooms are, are set up very nice. You're gonna have your VIP all the way forward great headroom I'm 6'1 and I feel very comfortable in there. You have a lot of space two locker closets uh, You know again en suite head so the space in the VIP is very comfortable with the windows, just being able to look outside, feel comfortable, and just enjoy yourself overall. This is just a look at uh, the head. I mean, most of all the staterooms are, the heads in the staterooms are all pretty much gonna be identical. Here in the master, full beam, it's away from the rest of the staterooms all the way aft. You have a lot of space, it's just very comfortable. I love uh, the two seatings that you have here, just looking out, being able to enjoy, maybe have a cup of coffee, speak your significant other, just enjoy or do some work. You also have a desk here with a vanity, so you can truly just enjoy it. You have a flat screen TV, nice walk-in closet. Um, just overall, it's just very spacious, very roomy, and uh, you feel comfortable, you don't feel crammed, and it's just overall a nice master because it's away from the rest of the staterooms all the way aft, you get the full width and it's very comfortable. Uh, the head itself is gonna be huge because you have uh, his and hers and it's separate, one on one side, one on the other, and then center line is going to be uh, your rain shower and it can also be a, a, utilized as a steam room as well uh, because you have the two doors that slowed and just keeps it nice and hot and comfortable in there. And it's just overall a very spacious uh, head uh, for, for this size of boat. Here, just in our crew accommodations, Crew likes to hang out here, it's a, it's a nice setup. You know, we run with a crew of three, sometimes four, just depending, um, you know, what the owner wants. Uh, we have a flat screen TV down here. Uh, just kind of give you guys more of a better view of the crew area, so it is set up nice. The crew can kind of get away, decompress from everything. And uh, overall, they're very happy with how the crew is, is set up. And this is gonna be what the staterooms kind of look like. Um, here on, on blue. So here we are just in the engine room, again, powered by CAT C32 A certs, and uh, the crew just does a phenomenal job of just keeping the boat uh, nice and clean, especially the engine room, and just on a weekly schedule of just staying up to par. It's very spacious, very easy to get a lot of work done, as you can see. Nice stand-up engine room, and uh, she's very well ventilated. She also has a worldwide uh, Atlas converter on board, and uh, I think you'll be impressed when you come on board and just walk in the engine room of just how well we've maintained it and uh, can be happy to say uh, they do a great job and uh, I'm happy and most people that come on board are very happy of how well the engine room has been very well taken care of. Good walkthrough on Blue and you can see how well she's just been maintained. I promise you she looks just like the photos and videos. Just overall a very nice late model motor yacht. If you're going to be at the 2022 
Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show and you want to get on board, please feel free to contact me via email or call, text, whatever line of communication you like, and I'll be happy to get you on board. Thank you.